Hey guys and welcome to another matchup. Today we got Rust Tyrannomon versus Gallantmon. Gallantmon versus Rust Tyrannomon. Let's see who comes out on top. Of course, both of these decks are not meta, at least not yet for Gallantmon until EX2 comes out. I did start off first and here we go into this Bergamon. Did you offer two, leaving my opponent at two? He goes ahead and hatches into a Pinamon, goes into a Terriermon, Memory Block, Digimon. And these matchups are interesting, especially if you're digivolving in order to kind of do what you need to do. Because you need to know how to play around these. And Rust Randomon, if you have them all fully set up, you can attack unsuspended Digimon. So with knowing that, I am kind of just raising in my breeding area until I'm ready to attack here. And I went ahead and placed a tie and now passed over to his turn. He has two memory. He does have that Tyrannomon out already. Metal Tyrannomon. He swings. He goes into that Beomon. And he survives. And now he goes ahead and passes turn. That's rough. Leaves me at three. Because I do have Ty, go ahead and I play Red Memory Boost. I'm sure I'm trying to get a Gallimon here since I don't have one. If not, I would have evoed there. I get Stardomon deck one Agumon. And then he's at zero here. So I go ahead and I play a Gilmon. This Gilmon is great because you are able to warp Digivolve for four into a Digimon with Gallimon in its name. Here he unsuspends here. And he goes ahead and swings for the second time and clashes into that Gallantmon, which should be in my hand. Not in the security stack, but hey, I'll take it. It got rid of that pesky 10k DP Tyrannomon. He drops a Tyrannomon, leaving me at three. And here I got stuck here trying to move this up, but I did. I don't remember if I drew a Gallimon or not, but here I go. So here I'm, I am going to attack, activating Bergamon's effect, and a Blam burned his hand there. Tyrannomon goes out. I clashed into a Dino Rex, so now my hard work went a waste. But lucky me, I do have an extra one in my hand, and I do drop it since I do have a Tamer in play. Card effect: If you have a Tamer in play, you gain two memory, or if you drop it and you have no red, no tamer, you can drop a red tamer for free. Fantastic card just came out in BT7. Digivolves here to a metal Tyrannomon for two. And here I know he's looking to drop this Rust Tyrannomon. And he does. He passes for four and Digivolves into that Rust Tyrannomon. And I draw. Hatch. Digivolve into that Agumon that I got with Red Memory Boost here. And now, what to do? Evolution. Boom! I drew that Gallantmon and I warped for four, keeping it my turn, therefore not having to use a Red Memory Boost. And here I am going to swing for two from uh, Gallantmon's effect, Security Attack plus one. And since I didn't delete a Digimon, his DP did go up by three so he was at 14k during the damage step and now i activate red memory boost and i go ahead and i go into the omni and swing for one more check reason i went into omni here just in case he uh was well really so he wanted to delete my gallantmon clash into it or really go over it that's really why i went into the omni here because now it's kind of locked unless he's yeah, unless he magically reduces 14,000 DP from Omnimon, really can't get it off the field. So now here he... He does have a hot, tough time, but he swings with Rust Tyrannomon, goes into War Growlmon, swings with Tyrannomon, goes into Gallimon, and here he does concede just because I do have one more mon in the back and that was game pretty quick there second one he does take it first he goes into that minomon digivolves into palmon palmon is great here for when you attack you do get 2000 dp so he would be able able to swing over my gallimon if that does come to play gets a tamer alpha betamon's effect 
and leaves me at three. I go ahead and I draw for my turn and now we're hatching. Got that Gigimon. Digivolve to that Beomon. Every time I attack, I do get to draw a card as an inherit and I go ahead and I Digivolve to Greymon for that extra security attack plus one as an inherit. And then here I just start setting up and I go all the way to War Growl, leaving him at two. So thing with a Gallimon in general or any red deck in general for you uh, play Megas, it's they're fast. You can get them up there fast and they're high DP count and all that stuff. But the problem with this is that let's say, you know, they delete it for whatever reason. They use a Gaia Force or whatever, whatever they use. Now it's deleted and now I have nothing. So that's that's kind of the problem when you play you know megas and you build up all the way into it and then you swing and then you kind of clash into something and then that gets deleted kind of how you saw in the first matchup with that uh metal gray and i just got deleted after i swung it's kind of the, the problem but since i kind of know what i'm going up against i am gonna risk it here and i go ahead and i swing i pop Gallimon's effect here to get that extra security attack from more grandma so now it's one two plus the gray man, that's three that's Four checks overall get an extra thousand from Agumon. I should be at 12 3 and 4 I do hit a Taiga there does activate it leaving him at 1 still my turn here I do not have an Omnimon so I go ahead and I place a Gilmon just in case he ends up at Rust or Anomon. although at this point he would be able to swing on suspend and swing again and it does not look like he has it. So he drops a Tentamon, reveals a Patamon, so it isn't what he was looking for. And he also concedes here in this matchup. So since those two were really quick, we decided to do a third one and see if an outcome would be different because he he has beaten me with this deck before going against Gallimon. It's just Tyrannomon right now does not have much support. So it isn't as quick as Gallimon per se, but here he does go into a Tyrannomon, leaves off on my turn, I go to Gigimon, go into that starter deck Agumon. Again, I do have a deck list that I made for this Gallimon. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it up above. I also have a link in the description if you do want to pick up some starter deck Gallimon decks. And here we go. Do cup to war ground. Now he goes into a metal Tyrannomon for two. And he puts me at three. And here we go. He actually got all the pieces this time. Now he's just missing the Taiga. But here we go. So now I play a tie to leave him at one and kind of really make sure I end up at three memory. So if I do get this Gallantmon, I can. Digivolve for three and then still be able to swing since it'll be my turn. Goes to three and he does drop that Taiga now. Ruster Anaman does have piercing. And here we go. I did manage to draw the Gallimon here. Kablamo put me at zero. So now I am going to swing. And since I'm not deleting anyone, he does go up to 14k. And then Agumon gives him another thousand. He's at 15 plus, I want to say, three checks. Four in total. <clears throat> and there we go. So now, it's one of five. And I do have an Omnimon, which I am going to play. So Gallimon does not get deleted. Put him at four and run into that Dino. And here we go. And he concedes because... It's just, it's a very fast deck. Gallimon is a very fast deck. There he goes showing me his hand. He is now called the Brick King. <laughs> so there you go, guys. It's a very quick matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.